Hey guys, how's it going? I'm going to show you how to get cycles quality shadows in Eevee in real time because I think shadows are something that don't get talked about enough and when they do, they're solved in the wrong way. And let me show you what I mean. Here I've done two renders. Here's the default Eevee render and here's the default cycles. So cycles out of the box has very crisp, clean shadows, whereas Eevee has kind of a little bit of jaggedness. The anti-aliasing does really good jobs cleaning this up, um, but it doesn't even connect to the mesh. It, it's it's frustrating, to say the least. And if we look at this in real time, it's horrendous. So I'm going to show you how to get cycles quality like this, shadows that look identical to this, other than the bounce lighting, but shadow quality that looks exactly like this in Eevee in real time. Let's go. First things first, uh, this little gap. Most people will say, oh, just go into your sunlight, go into your properties, and enable contact shadows. Wrong. Do not use contact shadows. They are the worst. And if you know why they're supposed to be used, please let me know, because I, they're terrible. And I'll show you why. If we come in here to anything more complicated than the cube, look at how bad these contact shadows are. These are, these are horrendous. These look so, so, so bad. Do not use contact shadows. That's my main thing, because we're going to solve this in a much better way. Disable contact shadows, and now let's start getting nicer shadows. Come into our scene properties here, and under shadows, increase cascade size to 4K. And whoa, all of a sudden, we have much, much, much more crisp shadows. And um, little little mini tip here. It won't be noticeable on this model, but high bit depth, if you have issues, especially in kind of like nooks and crannies, um, where they're being lit and they shouldn't be, high bit depth can kind of save you. You can see a little bit here. Um, it's not going to make a huge difference on this model, but if you're having issues, this can sometimes solve it. Um, but as we can see here, this still hasn't solved our issue, uh, especially if we look at our cube here. It's closer, but it still is not connected. We're still having the issues. And this is where the secret sauce comes in. If we just come over here in our light properties, just above contact shadows, under bias. If you start dropping bias, whoa, all of a sudden our shadows are connecting like contact shadows should. And this doesn't look like a big deal, but I don't know, it is a big deal. Because <laughs> if we come in here and we now do a comparison render, we have identical shadows to cycles. Look at, they connect perfectly. They're crisp all the way around. They look indistinguishable again other than bounce lighting but that's something you can cover a different time as far as actual shadow quality it looks phenomenal so what i usually do is i'll have my main light either my sunlight or i usually use um three point lights uh, which are just basically area lights those both use cascade shadows so i'll have those turned up to 4k and then all of my extra just kind of like little mini point lights here just leave them at low resolution. They don't need to be high because they're not the main ones. Our main shadow is still crisp and clear. Yeah, in summation, keep your main lights high. Your low lights can just be mid. Enable high bit depth. And on the shadows that matter, lower your bias. Come over here, drop your bias. Even on this one here, you can drop your bias on all your lights. I recommend you do it because that will crispen up everything. Do not use contact shadows. Contact shadows are the worst. If you know why they're meant to be used, please tell me, because I've not found a reason to use them where they look good. They always look bad. Do not use them. <laughs> and um, yeah, you now have working real-time shadows that are the same quality as cycles. Um, I have a lot of these tips and tricks because I've spent a lot of time making Eevee look good. And flip side, I've also spent a lot of time making cycles run fast. So if you want to see more videos like this, um, please let me know. And also please like and subscribe because I'm running like two separate channels and two full-time jobs right now. So I don't have a lot of time. Um, so I need to know what people want to see. <laughs> um, yeah. Thanks for watching.